This is Charles Green with more advice on loan, and today I'm speaking with David Gilbert, President and CEO of National Funding, based in San Diego, California. National Funding was founded in 1999 to provide equipment lease financing to small companies, and more recently expanded to provide working capital through merchant cash advance funding. It's in this latter area that Dave has emerged as a leading expert on the innovative financing sector that has risen over the past few years. Dave, some of your peer innovative lenders have been forging strategic relationships with other parties to leverage more business, like Lending Club's partnership with Alibaba to fund Chinese equipment sales in the U.S., and on deck capital making loan sales directly to institutional investors. What do you see more of these kinds of relationships leading to? I think um, you're going to see more and more partnerships um, working together to fulfill uh, the needs of the community. And so you saw a couple examples that just came out, including the partnership with Staples and Lendio where big brands are working with alternative lenders to promote opportunity for businesses to grow, uh, to get the capital that they need, and to help leverage the platforms that these brands put together. And so I think you're going to continue to see more and more of these partnerships to continue uh, because banks have disappeared. And so small business is left out in the dry. Uh, they need more opportunity to get capital because the opportunity to grow their business is actually at a, at, at a very good pace. Uh, you're seeing GDP in America growing, and you know businesses need capital to fulfill those opportunities, and so I think you're going to see continued growth. In the past year, we've also seen an increased level of collaboration between banks and innovative lenders, such as Lending Club and Bank Alliance for consumer loans, and Ondex connection with BBVA. Are these alliances driven by marketing reach or the need for funding? Uh, they're both, and you're going to see more of these bank partnerships with alternative lenders continue to grow year over year, just as banks fulfill different niches of small business financing that are very different than alternative lenders. And alternative lenders do a great job of putting capital in the needs of small businesses in different formats that meet the exact needs of what the small business is going to use that capital for. And so some of it's marketing reach of how to get to these customers, some of it's awareness. You know, a lot of these companies are spending millions and millions of dollars creating an awareness that the alternative lender industry exists. And I know when we do our research and we speak with small businesses, they wish they understood who these players are, who the leaders are, what the products are. And I think these partnerships allow a marketing reach to these customers that put these products in front of them, which at the end of the day is such a great opportunity for a small business to get the uh, ability to borrow and to meet the needs of their growing opportunity. Okay. Now, both of these companies I just mentioned have distinguished themselves in a thriving yet very competitive environment. And both issued public offerings in December meaning that the sector's performance and standards will be in part judged by the public disclosure of these two companies. How will that affect the direction of innovative funding companies? I think it's great. You know, you have two quality brands ran by two great CEOs that are uh, bringing all term lending to the forefront, that they both have successful IPOs, and that that's going to help pave the way for more alternative term lenders to come out uh, whether they're in public, um, you know, whether they go public or they just continue on their private way. Um, but more and more of them will grow as the industry uh, and Wall Street accept them. And that um, just more awareness comes to actual small business community, which is, you know, the community that they actually serve. Right. Now that said, what are your thoughts about the share price horizon of on-deck capital, whose recent earnings report disappointed many investors? following the hype of their recent offering? Well, share price and, and market, you know, always takes time to adjust. They just went public in December. Uh, they have a great brand. They have a great product. I think that managing expectations in the first couple of quarters isn't easy. Uh, overall, I think the stock stabilizing is going to go the right direction. And I'm sure that that company will continue to grow appropriately and that the market will 
uh, eventually adapt to you know what they do, why they do it, and I, I believe that they'll hit their growth targets. So I think you'll see that uh, overall that 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 company will continue to go the right direction. Thanks for sharing your insights, David Gilbert. I'm Charles Green with more advice on loan. Join us again. <laughs>